sky study. Until about a year ago, I would normally be asleep at this time. However, for the past year, I have been waking up at 5.30 every single day, and I'm happier than before because of this routine. Now that I made this structure part of my life, and I'm ready to share my morning with all of you. I started to have a proper morning routine three years ago. During that time, I was in the most difficult period of my life, and there are things happening that were out of my control. My sleep schedule was unorganized, and I felt so tired throughout the day. Because of this, I felt vulnerable both physically and mentally. After coming across the idea of self-development, one pattern I saw was that people tended to recommend waking up early. So that's how it all started. First thing I do when I wake up in the morning is go brush my teeth and wash my face with quick skincare. After that, I make my first morning tea. While the water is boiling, I typically make my bed. Believe it or not, it was so hard for me to make this my habit. After making my bed, I already feel accomplished which makes me feel good to start off the morning. It might be a small accomplishment for some people but helps encourage you to do other tasks that are even bigger. With a cup of tea, I started journaling. I actually tried to journal every day in 2019. But I failed after doing for a month because I didn't see any result after, so I quit. I started again last March when I lived alone for the first time. I was also self-isolated during that time and I felt so lonely. I wrote how I felt to release my feelings and thoughts. For 2021, I really wanted to make this as a part of my morning rituals and I've been doing it every single day. After two months of journaling, now I finally understand why people enjoy it. It brings so much clarity in my life and I find it is more like self-care. I don't see this activity as a task or something necessarily in order to achieve something. It's more like having a genuine conversation with myself. After journaling, I plan my day. I basically plan things to do on that day, as well as when and how much time I will spend on each task. Typically, it's called time blocking, which is where you write down things you will do every hour or you already did every hour. It will clarify how you use time every single day, no matter what circumstances you are under. It has been so helpful for me to design the day I want to have not by others to help me to do. I never imagined myself reading a book every day until I got this book. It was eye-opening and I was almost in shock. Since I graduated from high school, I've forgotten how much I can take away a lot of knowledge from reading books. Since then, I've been reading books for 30 minutes every single day, no excuse. I set 30 minutes on a timer with some chill, jazz, music, and read without any distraction. No matter how much stress I have at work, in my personal relationship or other issues in my daily life, the more I read books, the more I forget those things. After 30 minutes, I feel more peaceful and centered. If I don't read even one day, I can feel that I'm more reactive, easily distracted, and feel consumed more than usual. To not feel those things, this exercise is non-negotiable for me in my daily routine. After having a quick breakfast, I have my morning treat, which is ice latte with oat milk. This is actually my favorite part of the morning and is precious as I only drink once a day. Even if I want to drink in the afternoon, I try not to because I want to leave it as a treat for early morning. Now I feel charged with caffeine. Now I can start doing things that require more concentration. The things I do are different every day. If I have some work I need to finish, I tackle that task. I sometimes will read a newspaper, the real newspaper. 
I know it may sound old, but there are two primary reasons why I subscribe to the newspaper. First, I just wanted to know what's happening in the world. We are living in a world where no one can predict the future, which sounds pretty scary, but I don't watch TV or any TV news, so I only consume information through social media. And I found myself biased when it comes to news or information I consume. When you read online news or visit website, you are more likely to choose to read the headlines. But reading a physical copy allows me to at least skim through the information that I would never read if it's on social media. After doing all these rituals, I start my work. When I was figuring out what activity would work for me or not in the early morning, I try a few different things. When I start my day with meditation, I found myself ending up falling asleep. When I was working out in the morning, I found it made me feel more exhausted than energetic. I think morning rituals don't have to be a solid form. It's flexible depending on what goal you have or value you want to chase in your life during a certain period of time. In the midst of the pandemic, having my morning ritual has been very helpful for me to control my day rather than other things control me and falling deep into self-doubt. If you ever want to start your own routine, I would like to recommend you start with small things like waking up 10 minutes earlier than having a cup of tea, etc. Small little things will pile up and it will eventually lead you to the way you want your life to go and make you feel more confident. If you have your own morning ritual you love, please let me know as I love getting inspired. Thank you so much for watching and hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!